Thanks, you got 25 to life. And they don't give you no good time, good behavior. I don't know if you do 85% of whatever they gave you. I pray for like my life on the line. Juggling these streets, pick the streets are on the line. Hustle to increase, put it all on the line. Talk to spouse, family, freedom, walking yards on the line. Every day I wait for like my life on the line. Juggling these streets, pick the streets are on the line. Squares beware everywhere. I'm JJ Fun from On The Line Podcast Show with JJ Fun Man Jr. And that's Junior, Hub City. That's Junior. What's going on, Square? Oh, man, I'm getting myself, getting my Zoom Zooms and Wham Whams together for this game. That's what I'm getting ready to do. Yeah, so bottom line, bottom line is we're going to talk to you quick, but we ain't going to talk to a snick because uh, the game is actually on. Uh, we want to get a ball up. We want to drop these lugs on you real quick. Uh, oh, yeah, some, something that hit, hit, the, hit the wire. Yeah. And shout out to the wire. <laughs> shout, out, and shout out to the wire. No, let's get that correct. The wire entertainment. Let's get it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mario. What's up, Hefe? What's up, Hefe? Yeah, for sure. The mar- the wire box. Um, um wanted to say was this. All the viewers from the YouTube channel and on Instagram and Facebook. We appreciate you. Thank you for liking, sh- subscribing, and sharing our content. We'd like for you also to check out the audio version of the podcast. Yes, the audio. That is how podcasts is really or got started was through the audio. And the audio, when you look for on the line podcast, you look for that roulette table you see on the back of the wall right there. You'll see. Hold on one sec, Junior. That right there. That's what you're looking for when you do on for the stream platform. You look for that, not for the snake with the two eyes, the dice in his hand. That's only for streaming purposes. But this is the icon for the audio, and this is what you'll be looking for when you go to the audio plat- platform. Look for on the line pocket. You see that right there? Then you know you got the real deal. You know what I mean? We, real we, deal. Yeah. Not for play, but for real. So I'm going uh, to say this. I seen some stuff, uh, and I'm going to talk to Junior about it. There's some some stuff in the news uh, here in California. Uh, which one are we going to talk about, the judicial system or the suspicious, suspicious, suspicious? Uh, we're going to talk about the suspicious, suspicious here in L.A. County. <clears throat> here in L.A. County, uh, there was four – uh, LA County Sheriff deputies that came up dead. And well, <laughs> they all came up dead. Time out, time out. Came up dead, or is that the right? That's the right. They came up dead, or something happened to them. Well, they say they all committed suicide. Okay, that's that's that sounds more like it. Exactly what th- th- this is not our assumption. This is what. Yeah, you can Google this up and you look yeah. at every point. Yeah, this is, we ain't making this up. We only going with the AP AP Press put out, and that's almost right. that's on the certified right. news network. Right. You, know, you know, like ABC News. Now we're not saying they're a prayer book, but I saw the county uh, chair get up there and say some stuff, and I don't think they plan. But anyway, moving on the line, they all came up dead within twenty four hours of each other's death. So one died, committed suicide. 24 hours later, another one committed suicide. 24 hours later, another one committed suicide. 24 hours, another one committed suicide. And so it was in sync. Yeah, yeah. And all three of those four were active officers that, you know, held a job being the deputy sheriff. I think one of the last, one of them was retired. I'm, yeah, that's, whoo, that's... Um, never been a cop, never wanted to be a cop, but, um, know some, uh, know some people in law enforcement and, uh, yeah, they do got a high rate of killing themselves. And, 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 and before we go off into this, let's just say, you know, we, we're, we're, we're going to say to the families of those officers, man, they didn't deserve this. 
you know, most of them had kids, probably grandkids, and it's sad to say they had to wake up to this. It's, it's very, very unfortunate, but, you know, I just want to send a shout out to the families of the deceased police officers um, that committed suicide, the wives and grandkids and kids. It's just something that's tragic when you got to hear something like that. And it's not private. It becomes massively public that you have to keep seeing this on the news and you can't escape it, you know? So yeah, shouts out to the family of those, you know, loved ones that they, that they lost. Yeah. Death in time, death take, you know, it's a family. It, it, it does a number, uh, especially if they saying they, they committed suicide. That's, whoo, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm, that's spooky. I, I'm looking at, man, that's, that's like some movie stuff. But man, that's wow. That's mm, but, very uh, wild. Yeah, super heavy and wild. Then it being LA County Sheriff's, one of the leading uh, law enforcement departments in the world. Yeah, uh, it's not a good look. Um, but I know when I was in, you know, when I was incarcerated, it was a uh, correctional officer killing themselves, committing suicide at the job. Uh, uh, it, at work on the on the premises, outside mm. the premises, like you just like you never thought that they'll do something like that. Even here in Long Beach, was a couple of um, uh, Long Beach PD, uh, I don't know, but they both of them was retired. Uh, one of them, if you look up in the newspaper, man, they, they both killed themselves by the um, by the station they worked out of. See when, when you. Like, wow, we, read, we read on the details of this particular one with the four officers. A lot of speculation, a lot of questions arise that did these four officers have any contact with each other before one by one by one by one? Or it just seems like, OK, it just sporadically happened. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go off my gut feeling. I'm sure that they had some type of meeting or some type of phone conversation or something, not saying that we're going to do this one by one, but something had to prop them to go out that way, whether it be prior cases or prior issues or current issues. You know, nobody just wakes up in that type of field and just four of them back to back to back, you know, and, 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 it's going to be some digging going on by investigators, their own law enforcement buddies or what, however you want to call it. But it's something real shaky there going on. And, and it hasn't came out yet, but you would think what prompted this to happen. It had to be something really, really bad that they didn't want to be a part of or they couldn't detach themselves from it. So four officers, not not. Month after month, we talking about you said twenty four hours, right? Yeah, of each other. And I'm I, and, and yeah. I'm assuming they they spoke with each other. I don't know if it's through text messages. They all met up somewhere. It's something. Were they part of a group? That something, something came up that they did years ago or months ago, or they was involved in an investigation, or it could have been it could have been some family wives issue. I mean, none of this stuff has came out, but you can draw any conclusion yeah, and you could be right. We're speculating right now. We just, this show, we, 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 yeah. Yeah, we, 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 we speculating on A, B, C, and D. What made y'all look like it was coordinated? You know, how did that yeah. do? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what it looked. Was it? I don't know. I mean, if it was or was not, you know, I'm going to say this. Uh, it, it looks spooky. It'd be different mitigating factors involved in this. I don't think they're gonna be in a rush to tell this story. That's a, well, they, don't, they, they, they don't have no choice. The I mean, yeah, meaning, me, yeah, yeah, they don't have no choice. This is something you're not gonna be able to. Uh, this happened, and we're looking into it. Okay, case closed. No, nah, this is this ain't this ain't that type of party. This is very serious about something, and I guarantee you. Somebody else within that department knows something that may say something or that may want to say something. So rolling out these last, you know, these few weeks, upcoming weeks and months, we're going to hear about it, you know, um, within yeah. more more so within that sheriff department jurisdiction. Now, people who outside of the state of California, you probably won't hear nothing about it. But 
people within the realms of the sheriff community where they where they patrol, you know, you're going to hear something about it. This is not nothing that fall asleep on. Yeah, but um, I've spoken with one of the homies and uh, he had gave me some statistics, some statistics that he had read uh, about the percentage of suicide by not suicide, cops commit not suicide by cops, but cops that commit suicide or law enforcement people, and it was like at a high rate, like especially without they county. Okay, uh, all right. So this ain't new to them. Uh, no, you know, uh, you know, the board of supervisors in Los Angeles County or any uh, institution that has a uh, deal with law enforcement. So I think that. This is something that goes on in that field of work. It doesn't make it right, but they have a high rate of that. Probably alcoholism. Man, that's a tough ass job to be dealing with. I would again, yeah, dealing with that. Yep. You know, and then we, you know, we got to kind of like, you know, what we say, right? Because they're part, they part of that first responding thing. I'm just only attacking the issue. Like LA County was. Chair department was tough. Like, well, tough. again, the the number one question is what prompted this. It could be it, it could be something from five no, years right. ago. It could, be linked, it could be linked to, you know, all of a sudden now, uh, they're talking about you know officers, deputy sheriffs that are part of this the in uh, gang that they got in the department of LA County for the sheriff department. Man, listen. If Ben had that stuff, and so then ain't nothing new. It's just they just putting eyes on it and putting cameras on it now. But when I was going through the system, uh, man, ain't nobody care. Let them do what they do, and yeah, they, uh, they were vicious, you know. They, <laughs> but 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 see again, what see, hasn't know. came what what hasn't came out, or I haven't read anything about it. What type of individual these four men were. Were they really? aggressive? Were they uh, were were any of them, you know, abusive, abusing their power? Did they have uh, misconduct write ups? We don't know any of that. Well, I well, don't know. No, so. no, no, no. At this time, because we it is not out, so it's just all we speaking out of speculation on some right. of the stuff we're talking about. But the stuff I'm talking about, far as experience, my run-ins with the LA County Sheriff Department, that I'm an ex, I, I'm a professional in that. Yeah, I know how they treat you. How they used to treat you, how they treat you, got them and being black. So I, when I say they tough, I was meaning in the aspect of, uh, yeah, I didn't watch, I didn't, some stuff that went down in that county jail, man. Well, you know, you know. So I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, you, you that I'm that gonna, that right there is is you can't dispute that. Whoever has you know run-ins that, that frequent the county jail, some people go there, you know, two years every two years, you know, um, but. The patrol, I, were any of them working the county jail system or they were just well, patrolling? I, don't I, I, didn't, I didn't see where it said how many years they worked in the system, but I don't think they do as they used to do where once upon a time, like when Sherman Block and uh, Lee Baca was in there uh, um, and Pitcher, um, Sheriff was Pitcher, they, there was a, how they did the county sheriffs, but they, when you get your gig, you know, get your job become a sheriff, they will put you inside the county jail. You would have to work the county jail for X amount of years before they put you out on the streets. Yeah, and then you got some some county sheriffs who work the courtroom and you know oh, exactly. bailiffs, yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah they, they can, that's who controls that, you know. So when it came to putting people moving uh, prisoners back and forth through the streets, mm -hmm. it was just the LA County Sheriff Department. And and and, and, and we all, if you. In any LA County resident, whether Long Beach, Compton, White South Center, whatever, you have been on the streets and seen that that gray goose, that county jail bus <laughs> drive by with the oh, tinted windows and the bars yeah, on there. Yeah. yeah. The one on the, the 105, the 110, the 91, you feel me? The 101. Yeah, yeah whatever. All, all that, all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have you have been you have seen that bus and, and both of them. A lot of people been on both sides, seen the bus and been on the bus. So, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. but 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 back to these four gentlemen who killed themselves, you know, yeah. you're going to have people who still anti-police or 
fuck the police and, you know, whatever, whatever. But we're not here to do that. We're here to kind of give our, oh, in bro. our opinion, you know, what, what we think could have happened. You know, we're not going to say that's good for him. Fuck the police. No, we're not here to do that because all of the above, these are still human beings. These are still four men who had families that didn't deserve to wake up to that, you know, and that's what either side of the law you want, you always got to realize what you do affects your family. So yeah, with, the, yeah. with, 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 with the suicide and the way it happened, it just seems like something was wobbly going on there. You know, it, it um, you know I put up yeah. Off the dribble, yeah. when you look at when you see yeah. it like that, like, oh, what, what's wrong with that? And what I was, what I was responding on earlier was, was based on, you know, some people that that job ain't cut out for everybody, man. That's all like, just like the streets ain't for everybody. Being in, being in, being in law enforcement ain't for everybody. You know, you got the gig or you in the streets. Some of that stuff ain't for everybody, man. Well, that's why you have uh, people who who get patrols. They go to different different counties. You know, some people they can be on on on, on law enforcement twenty thirty years, and all they did was write tickets, get cats out of trees, and go to go to elementary schools and and talk and all that. Then you got some who is real in the field. They shoot them up and arrest people, kick you in the face, throw you in the back of the car. High speed yeah. chases, they do all that. It depends on you know what 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 neighborhood you want to patrol. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I don't know if they got the choice of where they patrol, but patient where they place you, <laughs> where they they feel you fit. You know what I mean? I think it was more of that kind of nature. Uh, but pushing past that, uh, that stay tuned to see how that play out. You know, if there's an investigation or there's a hush on it. I mean, personally, I don't think they want that to come out. That's vicious, but. I don't know. We're just speculation. Don't work for them. It's just something that will pop on the news, and we'll check it out when they pop up. And we might come back with a part two and further elaborate on our opinion and our speculation. Let's move on to the next thing. Tell me about what we what you was talking about. We was talking about about the the guy uh, uh, that was wrongly convicted and sentenced to prison for a quarter of a century. Well. This is something that's recent in the news. This is not new, but it's recent in the news that a guy, I can't remember his name, but he was convicted and sentenced to death row, I believe. No, 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 not, no, not this one, no, not that, not that case. He was sentenced to death oh. row. That's a separate case. We're going to talk okay, about Okay, but, but, but this one was 1998, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think they're both just. Yeah, he did a quarter of a century, and his sister's name was Miguel. Yeah, that's the one who've been who who was locked up since 1998 for something he did not do. Right for now, murder, yeah, they gave him convicted for a murder that he wasn't uh, guilty of, but they convicted him, and then uh, the judge moved for him to be moved to uh, technical, uh, uh, look like an uh, ineffective sister counsel. Okay. Well, whatever, whatever the situation may be that he got out, thank God he's out. But this is just one of millions cases that from 80s, 90s, 2000s, you know, and, and, and contrary to what people out there believe, there are innocent people in jail. There are innocent people in jail who really didn't do it. So um, and, and this proves he's one of them. But the, but the thing about that is, you know, the time, you know, if you go to jail for six months, beat your case or what you let you out. OK, six months, you can kind of bounce back. We talking about. 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, people been in jail, you know, what can happen to your family in 20 years? You know, what can happen to you in jail within 20 years? And you sitting in there knowing that you're completely innocent. But you may have to kill somebody or somebody may kill you. And then it's like, I'm dying in prison, but I'm really innocent. We don't, you know, the the, the feeling that this man has sitting in there and, and I'm just thinking, OK, maybe his wife left him, maybe his girl, or whatever the case, he may have lost parents in there. But then when he get out, it's like he's happy. He's happy that he's out. But at the same time, it's like I've been going all these years, my hope is lost. I can't get that back. 
you know, I lost family members. And then you still have that on your record to where you was in prison for 20 years. How do you explain that to people? I was in jail for something I didn't do. Well, if I'm correct, when they reset the scene, that comes off his, he was, he was in jail. So that, that's, that don't go on his record. They got I, I know I, I know that, but when you talk to people and then you engage in back into society and it's yeah. like, well, where you been? Well, I've been gone since 1998. I just got out, but it was a mistake because I didn't do it. And it's like, mm, yeah, you know, people, you know, people are real yeah. quick to judge, but mm. you got to look at all the cases before this guy that people been in jail wrongly convicted correct mistaken m- mistaken identity uh we can go in a oh he raped me i never even met you it's it's yeah. a lot of it's a lot of men and women sitting in prison right now that's innocent of the crimes they've been accused of excuse me let me say this what you was referring to earlier was a, was a gentleman grew uh come out the same community i came out of uh, he's on, been sitting on death row since with eighty five, uh, and uh, they got to bring him down and take him back to trial, or uh, and you know, retry this gentleman because of the the, the attorney he had was uh, was ineffective. Uh, there were some discrepancies and some things in his case, technicalities and discrepancies. That the or, or, or older or high court overruled that he didn't get a fair shake, and he and he don't fit the description of the person that they say he was. Uh, so it's a case that you know I don't want to go into, but it's in it's in the paper. Uh, but so these are two separate cases we talking about. So we're looking at a lot of stuff going on where people have been sitting in prison for stuff they ain't they innocent of through DNA and, and, testing or people coming and, back. And, let me just say this. When you when you sitting in prison for something you did do, it's stressful. <laughs> Let alone sitting in prison for something you didn't do. You know, we you know, we all know people who go to prison is like, yeah, okay, he did it. We all know he did it, you know, whatever. Even ourselves. We never denied that we were innocent. But just sitting in there knowing, like, fuck man, I gotta go through this, whatever. But just imagine if we sitting in there for something we did not do and we're adamant about it. Like, man, I didn't, you know, but then we have, we don't have the, the means to get the proper legal team behind us. So we just like, and Same then girl. if we, if, if, if we did, you know, we, we used up all our resources because let me tell you something, nobody's going to go up against the judicial system with endless resources. You're going to lose that battle. So forget about that. And then time after time, you know, people just start forgetting about you. We talking about 20 some years. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it, it's hard. That's that's a mental breakdown. And, and for this gentleman who I don't know his mental state right now or when he got convicted, but I'm assuming he had some type of breakdowns in there like, man, you know, or do you just give up and ride it on out? Or you just keep fighting or what? I mean, you know, it's, it's hard to say, but being convicted of something you I don't even you know, it's hard when, when you kids for somebody, one of your, your your siblings or your cousins or something to say, oh, yeah, he did like, man, why are you lying? And I didn't do that. That burns you up. Imagine sitting in jail for something you did not do for all these years and you didn't try. You didn't pray. You didn't, you know, used all your resources and. It's just it's it's very mental, and and let me tell you, you're not going to be in a place to where your peers around you is going to put their arm around you. It's you in a lion's den. Like we don't give a damn about that shit. We fight for our life too. I'm innocent just like you. You know, it, it's 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 crazy, man. Yeah, it is. So look, Joey, before you get to going to preach it, we're gonna cut this down, shut it down, hit that like, hit this subscribe, hit this share button. Uh, y'all got something y'all want to say? Y'all can hit the comments. Uh, we'll come back with a part two. Any viewers would like to come on the show and mm. elaborate about this show or any other show that we've done, feel free to tap in. 
hit us up. And if you if you're serious about it, and we'll piss you in and I'll bring you in on the show, man. You can uh speak about what you uh we spoke about, your point of view of what we spoke about in one of our prior shows or this show particularly. You know what I mean? So hit that like, hit this share, hit subscribe. We're on all streaming platforms. Check out the audio. Go to the audio. Listen to our audio. We're on all streaming platforms where they got audio for podcasts, on the line podcasts. You can go to the on the, to the platform. Excuse me, Junior. If you see this right here, <laughs> you got the on the line podcast audio version of this show. Okay, that's though you got the right one, baby. You got the right one, baby. I am not a crook. So I just want to make sure you for the audio listeners that you know and those who do or want to go to the pod, audio podcast. Look for that right there on the wall on on the screen, and you know you got the right one. Know you know you got Junior over there, Mister Hub City, and you got Mister JJ Fumby right here on the audio. So again, we appreciate all y'all support. Uh, continue to follow us. Continue to share us. If you see any of the merch that you got, we got in our YouTube uh, store. Grab it. Come back. Hit the no- put it on notifications so when we drop, that you'll know that we up and popping. Do you got anything you want to say before we get out of here? Yeah, the holidays are here. They're around the corner. Everybody be safe. Love your family. And just uh, stay together. We out. Every day I wake for like my life on the night. Jungle in these streets, beat this piece of on the night. Hustle to eat freeze, put it all on the night. House to spouse, family, freedom, walk in yards on the night. Every day on the night. Every day, every day on the night. Every day, every day. On the line, every day, every day, on the line, every day, every day, on the line, every day, every day, on the line.